Right, so we're back. Um, since you can't see them, I'll just drop the machine off, give you a, a quick tour of the machine, the sound effects machine. So this section here is called the isolator. This is a, an EQ. So if you turn up for a gig and you're not happy with the sound, you can basically turn the isolator on and then adjust the highs, the mids and the lows. I've lost the mid from gigging and never replaced it. This is your input signal for the signal that's coming in from the MIDI controller or the DJ software. Then we have the effects level on the right which controls the effects both sides. Along the top we have delay, echo, pan, flange, transient or trans as it's uh, shorthanded. So delay delays the sound. Echo always also delays the sound, has a little bit of a different effect. Pan means the stereo image from left to right within your speaker. Flange has a jet sound and trans has a gate sound. Each one of these effects can be controlled by this EQ which is banded high, mid and low. Have a trigger on the right hand side so when you want to trigger one of the sounds you can pull down on the trigger or you can leave it on the switched on position. On the left hand side of this unit I prefer it on just a trigger or I find that the effect from this right side is always creating problems. As we come down we have uh, different beats such as half beat, quarter beat, one to one, two to one and four to one. This here is the depth. This creates how much of the effect you're trying to create uh, and here is the mix control which is original and effect. If you're uh, into music production then think of it as a mix knob so you can take the dry signal and the wet signal and blend them together like a parallel processed signal. You do have monitoring on this unit I don't use it though um, and you can use headphones to listen to the beat section, the master section or the jog section. The bigger version I think the monitoring would be good for because uh, they, they used to do a bigger version of this which was called the 600 and that had sampling capabilities uh, so you could catch a piece of audio from the sample sample that, bring it into the unit and then manipulate that. Obviously technologies push forwards, you can do that <laughs> on your MIDI controller mixer now. Uh, on the right hand side we have exactly the same type of stuff. Uh, we've got depth but for the sound effects we've got jet which sounds a bit like flange but a lot smoother. Then we have zip, which controls the pitch. Then we have wah, which is for the wah wah pedal off a guitar. Then we have ring modulation. And we have fuzz, as in distortion. Um, these here, you can hold or play the effects. And you can create patterns using the jog wheel by holding it by storing it in the memory and then press and play so this full unit will do it itself. This side also has a trigger. On this side I prefer the trigger to be always switched on. Uh, that's to do with um, easeability because once this side's set even depending which one's on it doesn't really affect the music. So let's uh, fire it up, see all the pretty lights, ooh, pretty lights. Um, I've chosen a different track, um, it's an electric house track, 
uh, it's called Breathe Easy. Before we, before I push forward um, into the mix and 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 demonstrate the the capabilities of this machine, I must um, stress, especially if new DJs, that this machine is to be used sparingly in the mix. Up here, it um, while the lights are on, tells you the effect time and how many milliseconds it's taken to do the effect. Then up here we have a BPM counter, which is always set to auto. I find um, if you're using the BPM counter on this, it's a little bit faster by one or two BPM than it is with any other controller. And the right hand side, the uh, light window here is basically telling you how much of the effect you're putting in. So that's 100% and then down to 0%. Let's play a bit of music. Let's have a listen to the different effects. Turn the audio interface up. So let's start with the left side. Let's hear the different delays. That's a quite a nice one. Crescendo building. Getting a lot of fears and effect off that. Nice to catch vocals when you're using the delay with this side. Let's take a little bit of that gain out of that side there. Turn the booth down on the master. So if we were wanting to create a, a, a little drum fill, so let's put the echo on. When I'm creating drum fills with the echo, I always take the bass out because what I find is you get too much build up and it really just starts to sound really badly. So we've got a little bit of depth on there. Let's have a listen to the, the, the different repeats. There's a nice sound there. So let's have a half a beat. Let's use the, the blend. The depth is set at about one o'clock. So let's create a little little fills. Oh, breakdown. Let's catch a little bit of the vocal with a delay. There we go. There it is. Now let's go back to the echo. Let's create some little fills with a half a beat. I'm going to use the, the parallel knob or the mix knob to create some little fills. You can go from one to the next, so here we go. Let's take off some high and we'll add some lows. Create a really deep bottom. Let's put it on half a beat. Now, trans can be a little bit of a funny one. There's a place for it. Let's. Um, it's a gate, so if you gate the music, time and a place. You can see that some of them don't work very well, but it's experience that gives you them. So the first three sound pretty cool. Let's have a bit of flange. With, with the flange, I do like it on the 4-1 four, four setting. And I like to take the highs and the lows out.
Let's have a bit of egg walk. Are we ready? And what I'm doing there is I'm taking the depth out of the effect. Once it goes to the bottom, that's the effect cancelled and then you can obviously bring the depth back up. Let's have a look on the right side since we've had a little play with that. Let's adjust this. I love that effect. That's an absolutely beautiful effect. Makes it sound like it's soaring and rising through the music. And what also you can do with this is just instead of going in full circles, we create rhythm with it as well. So let's have a little bit of gain. So let's have a quick little of the wah. The wah is quite a common setting. You get it on the mixers, the Pioneer mixer does it, but for some reason for me it doesn't sound as good because like, I've got more control over it with the dark jog wheel. So everybody knows that sound. Try that again. I was going to build a crescendo there, but it didn't work. Let's go back through it. And that's the, the machine. I, uh, I've preferred using the machine for many years The over uh, the DJ Surface controllers. For some reason, I just find these are more ear pleasing to me than the DJ controllers. So this is why I've always opted for the the Pioneer FX500 machine. I hope you've enjoyed it.